Oh, there you are. I've managed to locate Dr. Mabus. His lair is behind those three red cypress trees. Good work, Sam. Let's go. Wait, there's a path through the Olympic Village that leads there. But to access it, you have to open the huge gate over there. Is that all? Let's go. No. If you break it, you'll be instantly banished from the games, disqualified. What do we do then? The gate has an opening mechanism. Three torches operated. When they're extinguished, the gate is locked. So, I suppose there's some trick to lighting the torches. Yes. The only solution is to win events in the elimination rounds. Obelix, I get the impression things are hotting up. Are you ready? Oh, now I've got a right profile. I'm ready for anything. Greetings, Gaulish athletes. I'm Gisakis, the official Olympic referee. If you want to sign up for an event, come and see me. You can see how you're getting on on the standings on this board. but the result was there. A superb jump. team hasn't come for the sightseeing if you ask me literally flying up the standings, all the way to the top. find that in the rule book. It looks very much like the Gaulish delegation are in the height of form.
Such pace and spirit. Here's one serious contender. Such pace and spirit. Here's one serious contender. hand deserves another. Well done! <laughs> An athlete with more than one string to his bow. The Gorish competitor has put in a solid performance, despite his uh, exceptional physique. In the meantime, Brutus paid a little surprise visit to Dr. Mabus, for he desired more than ever to bump off his father, Caesar. Brutus was in the foulest mood. It must be said, his latest attempts to kill his father had all gone pitifully wrong, and Dr. Mabus was well aware of this. But when the son of Caesar called, Dr. Mabus was preoccupied. Brutus, good timing. There are strange things afoot. We must talk about the portals. Another time. I've come in search of gear to feed Daddy to the daisies. What have you got in the cover? Before the wizard could reply, Brutus spotted a strange substance on a laboratory shelf. A kind of jelly making an odd squeaking sound. Don't touch that! It's dangerous! If it comes into the slightest contact with sunlight, it starts growing and growing and eating everything! It eats stuff? And squeaks too? Uh, yes. It's squeak. Brutus is not a man to heed a warning. He took the strange squealing jelly with him and left to carry on his plotting, leaving Dr. Mabus to his dark occupations. Time to take part in the event, but we mustn't forget Dr. Mabus. Share your piece of daring do, and 
than Vesuvius here. Too right, Barbecues. And what's worse, we've been ordered to stay here on patrol. It's just been <laughs> fair. <laughs> Say, you know something? I can smell cooking from somewhere. Nice little welcoming committee. Fancy a game of darts? There's a target over there. Marvellous. It'll stop me feeling bored. Grab the Romans and launch them that way. <laughs>
I don't have a goat, but that's no reason to disrespect him. All right, love Sorix? Not hurt? I'm fine, but my chariot's a wreck. Look at that. There's no way I can compete in the final event of the chariot race. The Romans are probably under the orders of Brutus. Why attack a defenseless chariot and not us? Because Princess Irina will marry the winner of the games. And if my chariot's destroyed, there's no way I'll win. Worry not, love Storix. Mend your chariot. We'll take care of the rest. Hi, Asterix, what are those? Ooh, and what are you trying to Tire themselves out for the competition. Five tutatis. I'll put it on back to front again. and the gate will open. Romans of the same color as the note you have to play for a concerto in bash major. But watch out, don't miss a note or you have to start again.
That's the mechanism that will get us into the VIP zone. That's where Brutus is. Uh, Sam, wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. I bet that to get in, we have to win some events. Bingo. The qualifying rounds this time. But for now, you have other fish to fry, I believe. Yes, a fish called Dr. Mavis. Coming, Obelix. A staircase for the IPs. The Greeks are crazy. Watch out. That silencius. Some advice. If he spots you, neutralize him as fast as possible. Because if he sounds the alarm, Romans will come scurrying from everywhere. Right, let me show you a stealth technique or two. The panther. The hieroglyph. The back row. The Abyssinian dumb beetle. <laughs> Alert, intruders! Bolt the exits! Form square, men! Whoops, too late. You've been spotted. We'll finish your training some other time. Time to attack. But don't worry, Oblix. I'm used to it. Hiya! Samagas, Brutus was once more attempting to murder his imperial father. His plan was simple. Serve up the Emperor breakfast in bed with Dr. Mavis's very own squeaking jelly as an appetizer. The sun has risen and the day's looking beautiful. Good morning, Daddy Dearest. I brought you breakfast. Say, what's that green junk? Was it jelly? Alas for Brutus, once more he went quite as he planned, and he had once again to skedaddle, covered in shame and uh, squeaking jelly. Brutus! Dr. Mavis, I'll get you back for this. And it won't be the jelly that's squeaking, I can tell you that. 